So in this video, we talk about the mapping between the main memory and the cache memory using the three field tag, block, and offsets we just discussed in the previous video. So uh, consider uh, a by addressable main memory consisting of a four blocks in a uh, cache memory with a two block. So in this case, we have the n equal to 2, as the um, previous video we saw. And uh, here the number of block x is going to be equal to uh, 1, 2, uh, 3. Okay? So uh, where each block is a 4 bytes. Okay? So total we have the 4 times 4 going to be a uh, 16 bytes. And uh, as you see, by addressable, so we have a 16 address. Okay? So um, this means that block 0 and block um, two of the main memory gonna map to the block zero of the cache, right? Because the uh, zero x equals zero or two, uh, mod two gonna equal zero. So that's why we gonna map block zero or block two of the main memory to block uh, zero of the cache. Uh, also, the block one and block uh, three of the main memory gonna map to the block one of the cache, right? Because x equal to one or three. Uh, mod 2 equal to 1, so that's we're going to map to the uh, block 1 the cache. So using the tag block and the offset field we discussed before, we can see how the main memory map gonna be, uh, be, uh, 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 can be mapped to the uh, cache as follow. So uh, because we have the uh, by addressable, uh, where the main memory consists of a, a 4 block, in a cache with a two block, so um, we we have the each block gonna have four bytes. So um, first of all, we need to uh, determine the address format for the mapping. Um, so we know that each block have the four bytes. Um, so the offset field must contain two bits, right? Because two power two gonna equal to four. So that's number of bit we number of bits we need. Uh, in order to represent the number of uh, by within a block. Um, also, we uh, have uh, two blocks in the cache, so the number of block field gonna be equal to one because we need one bit to uh, represent uh, 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 different blocks. So, um, so the the um, so we need um, total three bit already. And the number of bits for the address in the memory is going to be equal to 4 because we have the uh, 4 block and each block have the uh, 4 bytes. So the total we have the 16 bytes. And um, we have the byte addressable. So each of the bytes need to have uh, one address. So 2 power 4 equal to 16. So we need 4 bits for the uh, uh, to represent one address in the main memory. So um, we use three bit right here, so the remaining bit gonna be uh, one bit for the tag, right? Four or minus uh, three equal to one. So uh, basically, here the um, here here the um, uh, graphical representation of a different field. So tag gonna be one bit, block gonna be one bit, and offset gonna be two bit. So total we have the uh, four bit for the uh, represent one address in the main memory, right? So um, suppose we uh, need to address the uh, we need to access to the main memory at uh, at the address three that gonna be uh, in hexadecimal value. So in binary three can be represented by uh, zero zero one one. Okay, so this is in binary. Um, so we, we from the from the um, information we just discussed, we now can partition the address in the main memory here, 0011, using the address format in the figure A and need to be right here, okay? So basically, I hit the uh, uh, structure of the uh, structure of the uh, field, the so tag 1 bit, block 1 bit, and the offset 2 bit, okay? So now we have the address 0011, gonna have the map exactly to the uh, corresponding block. Uh, uh, to the fields. Uh, so tag uh, corresponds to the first zero, a uh, block uh, corresponding to the second zero, and the offset uh, will be uh, uh, correspond to the uh, last two digits right here. So um, you can see that the um, 
the the uh, block in the main memory right here gonna be a zero zero one one that's gonna be a three three right here gonna be in block zero and the uh, uh, the last offset within this block okay so we can see that based on the block right here you can see that uh, the block gonna be zero so gonna map to the block zero in the cache right here and the address of this memory gonna map directly to the uh, address in uh, in, in, in this block in the cache okay and also you can see that um, for this block the tag equal to zero so we have the tag for the cache uh, uh, equal to zero associated with the block zero of the cache okay so that the uh, that's how the uh, uh, block in the memory gonna be uh, mapped into a block in the cache using the uh, uh, three fields we just discussed so now uh, let's assume we have a um, so now with the uh, with the information stored in the cache right here we have the attack of zero and also the information of the uh, address at the uh, address three in the memory gonna be stored in the uh, block zero of the cache okay now uh, for example now we want to um, uh, um, access the information in the uh, uh, do you want to uh, I transfer the information in the uh, block two of the memory uh, with the address um, with the address one zero uh, one zero in the memory to the uh, cache. Okay, so uh, from the uh, from the uh, the field we just we just discussed before, you can see that now the tag is equal to the first bit right here, that's equal to one um, zero for the block zero and the uh, the the uh, uh, last two digits right here can represent the offset. Okay, so you can see that now the information from the block two of the memory right here gonna be copied to the uh, cache memory. Okay, so we can see that uh, the address of the um, this address corresponding to this address in the uh, in the uh, cache memory as well. Um, so uh, we, we can see that um, now the 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 tag. Uh, here is a different from the existing tag right here. Okay, so uh, we can see that um, the the content of the uh, cache memory in the block zero is gonna be removed because uh, we have the different tag, and now we uh, want to have the new information from the block two right here. Uh, gonna move into the uh, same block in the cache memory. Uh, but the the tag are different, so that's why we we need to remove the uh, existing information in the block zero of the cache, and we uh, uh, copy the new information uh, from the block two in the memory to the uh, uh, to, to the cache memory. Okay. So here's another uh, example. Uh, Using the uh, direct map uh, between the uh, main memory and the cache memory. So uh, in this example, we assume that a byte addressable memory consisting of uh, sixteen bytes uh, that divided into a eight blocks. Um, so each block gonna have a two bytes, right? Um, and the cache memory contain four blocks. Um, so uh, in, in this example, we can see that a memory address uh, should have a uh, four bits, right? Uh, because uh, we have the byte addressable and the total we have the uh, 16 bytes so 2 power 4 equals 16 so each, each address in the memory uh, need to have a 4 bit in order to represent it um, and the 4 bit memory is going to divide it into, the, um, into different fields uh, uh, as follows okay? so we have the um, cache uh, have the 4 blocks so uh, the number of bits to represent uh, uh, different block gonna be a two bit, right? Because two power two goes to four, so we have the block gonna have need two bits. The offset that represent a um, so one block right here have a two bytes, so we need one bit to represent uh, one of the bytes. So that total we need a three bits for block in the offset so uh, we total need uh, have the four bits so the remaining bit gonna be for the tag okay so tag one bit block two bit and the offset one bit so total we have the four bit for the um, address in the main memory so uh, with that uh, 
information, we can see that the mapping for the memory reference is shown as below. So we can see that the block 0 in the main memory with the uh, address uh, 0 and 1 got a map to the block 0 in the cache. Uh, block 1 in the main memory corresponding to the address um, 2 and 3 got a map to the block 1. Block 2 gonna map to block 2 and block 3 gonna map to block 2 in the cache memory. Now in the block 4 in the memory, gonna map back into the block um, uh, 0 in the cache memory. Okay, but uh, we should uh, we should uh, be uh, see that the the uh, the tag the tag bit gonna be different. Okay, so in this block four right here, the tag bit equals one, and this block four, zero right here, the tag bit equals zero. So we can see that even they map to the same block zero in the cache memory, but they have the different tag. So um, if that uh, information is gonna be uh, different, the uh, the the uh, in the new information is gonna be overwritten into the existing one, as we show in the previous example. So uh, in summary, we can see that uh, direct map cache uh, map main memory block into a uh, modular fashion to the cache block, and the mapping depends on. Um, different uh, 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 values or, or parameter. The first one, that's the number of bits in the memory address. So that's uh, basically how many addresses uh, exist in the main memory. Um, the second uh, parameter, that's the number of blocks that are in the cache. So we determine the size of uh, the block view. Um, and the last parameter, that's uh, how many addresses uh, either type, uh, um, either bytes or word uh, in a block. So we determine the size of the offset field. So that's going to call uh, all the, uh, the, the three parameters right here corresponding to the three field in the, uh, in the uh, uh, mapping we uh, discussed so far. So um, that's basically the, uh, um, the information for the direct map. Uh, Cash. Um.